All right, McGeary more experienced at 35 years of age. That surprises a lot of people because he's still new to the sport. 10 years the senior to Bedeen. And the reach advantage to the former light heavyweight champion. With the official introductions, Michael C. Williams. Presented by Miller Lite, Bellator MMA now moves the light heavyweight division set for three five minute rounds live on Paramount Network. We introduce the blue corner at six foot weighing in 205 pounds even. His professional record, eight wins, two losses, fighting out of Stadiosko, Russia, presenting Vadim Nemko. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot six, weighing in 203 and three quarter pounds. The former Bellator light heavyweight world champion tonight stands with 12 professional victories, just two defeats. Originally from Kingsland, England, he fights out of Brooklyn, New York, introducing Leo. In charge of the action, your referee, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee for this light heavyweight fight here inside Mohegan Sun Arena. Liam McGeary, Vadim Nemkov. Ready, sir. Ready, sir. Let's go. Fight. Here we go. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Red gloves for McGeary. Blue gloves for Nemkov. Are you done yet with that, Reed? These guys are out here exchanging kicks, Goldie. I, I have to pay, like, help me. You gotta keep the lights on. Gotta keep here. the lights on. There you go. Well, let me recap for you. McGeary came right up the middle. Nemkov thought, well, that's a good idea. Returned a couple kicks of his own. Wow, if you're gonna be that good, I'm gonna take my time even more so. <laughs> oh my. Right hand connected there. Yeah, it, it did connect, but I'll tell you the other side of that coin is McGeary took it. So it all depends how you want to look at that. Phil Davis, spectacular wrestler. Linton Vassell, Bellator 179, London. He finished Liam McGeary. Liam said, more so than anything else, I had to work on my wrestling game. Uppercut. Nemkov, the aggressor early. Well, he lost to the best wrestler in the division. He lost to the strongest man in the business, so. It's okay. Th that's exactly right. Let let's give uh, let's give the uh, world champion here, McGeary, a fresh start. First fight in nine months for Liam McGeary. Supposed to fight King Mo in October. King Mo got hurt. Then it was going to be Bubba McDaniel, and then Liam McGeary basically smashed his thumb. Ended up with surgery, Chael. Five pins in for oh. seven weeks. Oh my goodness. Not pretty. He said, I'm okay now. The hand's okay. Nemkov trying to find him. McGeary stops that takedown. That was great. Breaks away with a head kick. A great stop of that first takedown attempt there. 11th professional fight for Nemkov. McGeary is starting to back himself up a little bit too close to that fence. He doesn't want to get pinned on. But the grappling reputation, we haven't seen it yet, but if the reputation of Nevkov is true, McGeary is best to stay out in the open a little bit, not have that fence work against him. Those Sambo guys can throw their opponents around. Nevkov looking real uh, crisp and clean with the strikes he's throwing. He's, he's struggling with the range a little bit, which he would have known coming into this fight, but he's having a hard time getting, getting inside to land a full combination. Certainly neutralizing the reach advantage for the Brit thus far. Yeah, this is a tricky little uh, uppercut he slipped in there a couple of times. Not a lot of power on it, it's a long one, but he has found McGeary. Throws it at different angles pretty much every time. Body shot. So a good start for 25-year-old Vadim Nemkov. McGeary's looking for something. He just hasn't found it yet. I mean, he, he's setting him up. You can see, I can tell by his eyes. He's looking for something. He's waiting to get started here, but he's just not quite finding it. I, I would imagine it's the range. He's not quite seeing his target. No real wrestling attempts from either guy. A little half shot from Vadim a couple moments ago. McGeary said, I am certainly not taking him lightly. Dude's dangerous. He's got a lot of first round finishes. Here eats another leg kick there. I'm a little surprised he's not throwing back off of him. There he takes another one, which is okay. Those leg kicks are going to get through. 
But if you, if you respond, it'll make the guy think twice about doing it again. And as you can see, look, there's a rule in a fight, Goldie. If something works, you go back to it. Clayton Hires tells me this every single day in practice. But so the theory is, a guy can't fix it on the fly. So if, it, if you get past the gate once on him, just keep going back to it. Make him deal with that in the locker room in the next month before the next camp. Look for another kick. So far, he's about six for six, Chael. Yeah, I think that's what Vadim has noticed. Hey, I got an outside leg kick here. I'm just going to keep on throwing it. <laughs> Frank the knee of McGeary on that last one. And there it is again. Yeah, see a little step there. Yep. Now, you know he's hurting because he just looked to check the kick fight. Yep. But sometimes it can quickly be too late. Sure. Oh, you bet. Oh, the weight you put on there. I was there when Jose Aldo kicked Uriah Faber yeah. into the hospital. One of the toughest fights Joe and I ever called because it was so tough to watch. Yeah. Because Uriah was so darn tough. Oh, Uriah wasn't going anywhere. He, he was willing to give that leg up, but that's exactly what happened. Randy Couture, Pedro Hizzo years ago. And a lot of damage to the lead leg of Liam McGeary already in this one. All right, there was a lead hook right there. McGeary thought the leg kick was coming. Now Vadim's got him guessing. Question mark kick could always be coming. Ten seconds. Around one. All right, Goldie, this was kind of the story of the first round. It was this outside leg kick, and once Vadim noticed, hey, McGeary doesn't really defend this. He's not making me pay for throwing these. He just kept throwing them. He went six or six. Round two. McGeary's corner said, you got to move in. You got to grab on to him. You got to get a hold of him. Chael, how'd you score round one? Look, I thought it was pretty clear. Nevkov just simply out, uh, outworked him, but he also outlanded him. Nevkov 10, McGeary 9. <laughs> Vadim Nemkov, extremely explosive. Quick switch kick a moment ago. McGeary's starting to come forward already. He's already started to take the center of the cage here instead of backing himself up against the fence. I think that's a good strategy. A big right hand lands. Huge right hands. McGeary can take a punch, though. Oh, McGeary went for an outside leg trip. Good shot by Vadim Nemkov. Long lens oh, oh, for McGeary. Oh. This is his boom. Oh, he lost it. But Dean was smart. He watched it. He postured up, put a little too much pressure on the crooks of that lock, was able to get him to break it. And now McGeary here, right here, he's looking to come up. Old McGeary would have stayed down. Right. New McGeary is, he's not seeing an opening, but he wants to come up to his feet here. Liam McGeary loves fighting off his back. Tall 6'6". Six, six. See if Nemkov lets him back up. There he is. He's back up. Now, this is what his team swore he was going to do. He's going to look for a submission quickly. If they can't find it, he's going to come back to his feet. That's his strategy. Just because a guy has a strategy doesn't mean he can do it. That's exactly what he worked on. Friday, March 2nd, live and free on Paramount Network. Gary and the Wolf Coldwell looks to defend his bantamweight world title against Pitbull Brothers protege Leandro Higo. Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite live Friday, March 2nd, right here on Paramount Network. And we will visit with the champion, Darren Coldwell, still ahead here tonight. Nemkov is still using those leg kicks. Maybe not the same power on all of them, but he's still touching McGeary, and McGeary is still not making him pay for it. Throw something back, check it, threaten to take down. All of these things are options, but make him think twice. Don't give him those free kicks. Liam's pretty much lost a round and a half now, Chael. What does he need to do? Listen, I think it's going to start with making him pay for those leg kicks. There are big opportunities there. We've seen guys throw leg kicks and get finished in the process because they're standing there on one foot and their opponent throws a big straight down the middle. That's an option. If Leon wants to be on the ground with him, catching that leg kick, taking him down, also an option. But bottom line is simply this, more forward pressure. He's got to get an offense going. Defensively, Liam's done a, a, a very decent job. Offensively, he's playing second fiddle. That last one, his foot was solidly on the canvas, and he took the full brunt and punishment. 
Certainly the story of this one, late kicks against Lee. But a lot of time left. Oftentimes, the lead leg of a fighter gets damaged and they'll switch their stance. McGeary hasn't done that at all. No, he hasn't done that yet. And I did see him buckle and fumble at one point, and I thought possibly the switch stance was coming. It hasn't happened yet. But I'm noticing he's not any lighter on that leg. And that's the one thing, listen, people watching at home, they've all been hit by an older brother or a kid on the playground. They call it the dead leg, the Charlie horse. That's a real thing. That happens in fighting. You keep kicking a guy right on that thigh, he gets that dead leg, he gets that Charlie horse, where he doesn't quite have the same mobility. It's as simple as that. That's the only thing Vadim is looking to do, but it's also what he succeeded at doing. I haven't heard Charlie horse in a couple decades, brother. Can I give you one just for old time's sake? Absolutely. Just to see? Boom. Ah, <laughs> Charlie Horse. The things we get away with here. <laughs> Under a minute, round two. Oh, another good shot there by Vadim. Came right over the top. Confident kid, that is for certain. Well, here's what we learned. We've learned that Vadim is very good with the punches and the kicks, but we have also learned in fairness that McGeary can take them. It's not a good way to win a fist fight, but it's the best credit I can give him as of right now. And notice when McGeary comes forward, nothing bad seems to happen to him. It's when he goes back or stands in place. That's what Vadim is looking for. That lead leg is damaged. Just watch, fans at home, watch how he moves on that lead leg now. Not a lot of bounce anymore, Chael, and it's yeah. sitting there ready to be kicked again. No, it's almost and there dragging. it is, on cue. Another oh. good round, vicious kick at the end of the second. <laughs> Partner Nemkov chopping down that 6'6 six, six tree. And look at that, like a true veteran, that he comes inside just for good measure. And man limping noticeably towards his corner. Five minutes remain. Second round again to the Russian. Yeah, he's got he's got big problems here. Definitely a 10-9 for Verdeen. Well, as you asked me that, I, I, I was thinking we were seeing a, a, a moment of theater out here uh, with McGeary. Something is happening that's not good on that leg. Listen, his options are very limited. I'll, I'll name them out for you right now. Switch stances, two, pole guard, three, fall down and get this fight stopped. None of them are great options, but he is on one leg. Yeah, it's getting worse. Little front kick to the knee. Slowing down big time. Not only the, the blunt of those big shots, like a baseball bat across your leg, also though, a lot of it on the knee and the pressure. And Liam, happy to be down here. And look at the Dean, very smart. I'm really uh, yes. impressed with this. He springs right back to his feet. He doesn't create enough distance to lose the position, so he's able to eat up a little clock here, do a little bit of damage. At the same time, he's not in the threat of the former champion's uncharacteristic ground game. Nemkov certainly not going to play the game on the ground that McGeary would like. He throws a head kick as he's coming up. Wow. As he's been so dominant on the feet. This is a well-trained athlete. Absolutely. Nemkov is ready for, for every position. He studied a lot of tape on McGeary. It's, it's, it's very clear. But McGeary's options are still limited. And listen, for anybody that went out there and, and watched the last uh, Big Bellator and is thinking, well, sure, you can win on one leg. I saw Rory McDonald do it. Rory McDonald is not normal. Do not use that as an example. <laughs> All right? Not very many guys can be in a fist fight with one leg and come out. Unless you're Rory McDonald. Unless, <laughs> apparently, unless your name is Rory McDonald. The Red King. Congratulations to the new champion. Remarkable. Inspiring. His yeah. performance was inspiring. Okay, look, this was on my list of his three options yeah, to go down thing. and hope to stay in guard. All he can hope, oh, he needs to grab a hold and just hope to keep that position. Yeah, he tried to stand up right there. He can't do it. Well, I don't know if your eye caught that. He tried to stand up. His leg gave out. Yeah. He needed another, another half second to, to adjust his body. And Vadim doing everything right. He's doing everything right. Control one leg, create just enough action. Let Big Dan look at this position. So you want to be a mixed martial artist. 
so you want to feel <laughs> just chopping down the former champion. Don't think Medine's going to have any mercy. He's not going to stop throwing that kick, nor should he. And the worse it gets, the worse it gets. Because yeah. you no longer have the ability even to try to check those kicks. Oh, that's right. Oh, the three options that McGeary had a moment ago still haven't changed. Switch stances, hold guard, fall down and have the fight stop. That's you, where he's at. Are you surprised he hasn't switched his stance? Yeah, I am a little bit surprised. Now, you're out of the frying pan and into the fire if you do that. It doesn't necessarily help things. It just can ease the pain a little bit. Look, when you can't move and you don't have a leg to push off of, you're in a bad way. Laguerre's being tough. He's doing everything that he can do. He doesn't have the use of the mobility of his leg. He can't feel it the same. Look at this big Dan starting to look on. Laguerre is starting to just, he's just being dog tough right here. Dan Hurley out of staring right yep. at Liam McGeary. There, there's no bad decision right now if you're Mergley out of there's, there's no There's no wrong decision. The 25-year-old's pretty impressive. Right there, That's stop it. it. Yep. They stopped the fight. Liam McGeary just could not take any more kicks. No, he turned away, and that's what it was. That's what Big Stan saw. As soon as he saw him turn away, that, I'm going to step in and and halt this one. I'm glad that he did. Listen, I got no problem with what Geary did. He got his leg taken out. He got set up a little bit with that jab. That's gonna happen. Let's focus on the positive, which is Nemkov. This is a 25-year-old young man who apparently, by all reputation, is a killer on the ground. We haven't seen him off his back. When he was on top, he was very smart, much like Fedor. He doesn't just look for submissions. He also looks to strike to set those things up. He had some respect of McGeary. He gave him his space. Our fight replay brought to you by Blackheart Premium Spice Rum, the bold 93 proof rum. That's edgy to the core and, of course, leg kicks. Look, story of all three rounds. He's setting them up. There he's coming inside. But I will put, point out one, one other thing for you, Goldberg. It, every kick went to the same leg. He never was hot. He never tried to get fancy or go to that rear leg. Outside leg kicks every now and then slip up and inside attack the same limb until the opponent can no longer stand. Pretty sure we're going to find out Liam McGeary's knee is literally buckled as well. The official decision when we come back on Paramount Network. Wow. Liam McGeary literally buckled by leg kicks from the young Russian, Vadim Nemkov. Nemkov took some damage of his own jail. Yep, a couple of those went to the knee of McGeary. And this is why we encourage him to use the checks. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, let's make it official. Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage referee, Dan Mergliata steps in, waves off the contest. Official time, four minutes, two seconds into round number three. The winner by TKO, Vadim Nemkov. Team Fedor product, Nadim Nemkov is now 2-0 in his young Bellator career.